the Mueller report? Yes, I actually read it. And? <laughs> um, well, I, Did I, you change your immediate reaction? They didn't find anything, which is what you told Terry? Um, uh, well, uh, my immediate reaction is, is this, um, that first of all, I've championed that this thing be followed to its logical conclusion. And sometimes I took heat for that, but I'm glad that I did because I think it is a definitive report. I mean, if I, and I just tell you, when I was doing gang cases, they would take six months or a year. It would be me, a couple of gang members, and we put together what I would consider massive cases. Uh, gang task force members, not gang members, gang task force <laughs> members. With help the from some proper and gang members. The good guys. And we would put together what I consider some of the biggest cases in the country. Um, they had 20 prosecutors on it. They had 40 agents on it around the clock. They had analysts. They had a whole stable of people working with them. They did 2,800 subpoenas. They did 30 wire, wire taps. They got 50 sets of phone records. They talked to 500 witnesses. I can't think of a more thorough investigation. And after all that, there was no smoking gun on either side, right? Uh, it's pretty definitive from what I've seen from the report that the um, collusion side's not there. Although I must say, a lot of his, a lot of people that worked for the Trump campaign made some terrible judgments. When someone comes to you and says, uh, you know, they're from the Russian side and they have information about Hillary Clinton, you not only should you just get away from it, you should run away from it. And a lot of those guys didn't. They're paying the price, and justifiably so. But uh, on the obstruction side, I think uh, uh, I don't think the evidence is there. I think there's some conduct of some people may call troubling, but I think it's more like a, what I see from uh, uh, a lot of my cases. I've done those 15, 12 obstruction cases, everything from uh, intimidating a witness or suborning perjury to killing my witnesses. And um, some of my witnesses were killed, and so that's the ultimate obstruction, obviously. I don't see that type of issue going on with a president. I see frustration, and um, I think the president would have been a better off listening to his Council of people, I'm sure, who told him to forget about it, stay, say nothing, just shut up and, 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 and hunker down and see it through. And he was frustrated by it, and at times he lashed out, which he probably shouldn't have done, but I don't think it amounts to obstruction. And I think if they had found clear cut obstruction, they would have said so in the report. But I think that's so. I, and in the end, I look at it and I say, it's overwhelming how much work they put into this. And after all that time and all that effort and all the um, basically open reign they had on investigating the matter, they didn't find a chargeable conduct. And to me, that uh, is pretty, um, pretty, weighs pretty heavily on, on uh, going forward with it. Now, if the Congress wants to go forward with it, that's a prerogative. If they try and use this as a basis for impeachment, I think it's a huge mistake. Uh, and I'm not an apologist for the president. As all you know, I stand up to him all the time. Um, but uh, I just think that this is a very, 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 very well done report. And I know Mueller. Um, I've been in law enforcement and sometimes uh, served uh, with uh, people who served on him at the FBI, and uh, he's not a guy who would walk away from a fight if there's a fight to be had. Well, beyond criminality, chargeable offenses, is there anything that disturbs you? Uh, yeah. Down? Yes, his lack of discipline. I mean, the president's lack. Yeah, the lack of discipline in, in, in dealing with this. He's used to being in control, so I understand it to some extent, but I think uh, he should have been more disciplined in that. Um, if he was frustrated, um, I kind of people told me early on when I was running for, for office, people may really piss you off. People may really make you very angry. You go, you get inside your car, you pull into an alley somewhere, and you scream your lights out so no one can hear you, and then you get back to being putting on a facade that everything's okay. He probably should have done that, and there wouldn't have been, there would be less scrutiny upon the obstruction side. Um, but it's just not his nature.